two pendulums, regardless of their length and their weight, after a period of time, begin to swing together. So I'll say it again. Two pendulums, regardless of their weight and their length, after a period of time, begin to swing together. They entrain with each other. And then we discover there's countless examples of the same phenomena in the physical sciences. For example, if hearts are removed from frogs, two frogs, and they're put in petri dishes, after a period of time, the hearts begin to beat together. And that's entrainment. Now, why this happens, nobody knows. There's a lot of things we don't know the why, we don't know, we don't understand. But we accept. For example, electricity. We know how to make it, we know how to channel it, we know how to move it, we know we need it. But we don't, really don't know what it is. Love is another great example. We know it feels good when it's in our life and we're connected to people. But what is it? We don't know. So we don't know about entrainment. We don't know why this phenomena works. This is true, though. So the question becomes, what are we entraining with? And if you find you want to get yourself to that higher vibrational level, more in that future focus momentum, more embedded in the most important thing, which is to feel good, to feel good, to do what you want to do, to succeed at whatever you want to succeed at, then we have to entrain with a number of elements.